Now we're all individuals and there's a number of ways that you can take care of your survival needs. Uh, whether it's a bug out bag, go bag, get home bag, whatever you want to call it. But there's so many different options out there. But one thing that I thought was a pretty cool idea is to take a tool roll bag and make a survival kit. And this is a really organized kit. Lay it out, everything's right in front of you. So today we're going to take a look at the roll survival kit. One of the websites I frequent a lot is alloutdoor.com and there's just a lot of cool things about gun survival just always seems to be some pretty cool ideas and I'm going to have the link to the video that inspired me to do this uh, and really he was looking for more of a toolkit an EDC toolkit now this is kind of an EDC survival get home type uh, toolkit with all the tools you need for survival at least what I like to put in here. Um, this is the uh, Bucket Boss brand, and I got this on eBay. I just started looking through, trying to find something that would be suitable. I like the way this looks. It was canvas, and it was uh, shipped from the U.S. So there's a lot of different options out on the market, and you know, just encourage you to take a look. Uh, but this one has the Duraflex, or not really even Duraflex, but they're just the uh, buckles that are Duraflex type. Has a little grab handle, reinforced on the sides. Pretty cool. We're just gonna unroll it. I'm gonna show you what we've got. I believe there's 22 separate pockets in here. So there's just a ton of different little places uh, to put different things. Now I like the little sleeves that go all along and they're different sizes. Uh, they've made them to be different dimensions. Of course, they're all the same depth. Uh, because you can roll this, you could actually put something as long as this is. And it's according again to your roll, not necessarily this particular one. Uh, but I really didn't have anything that goes all the way across, but larger items like this water filter, it goes past and it still works. Then here toward the middle, we have elastic keepers to be able to keep all kind of different items uh, that you want to get to really fast. And then of course, on the other side, you have more sleeves. Then right here at the end, there's some little Velcro, uh, little flap, and you can hold different items in here uh, that you can't necessarily put in the elastic, but if you can, that's fine too. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from here, just kind of quickly go through things, not too detailed because there's a lot to do. One of the things that I've got here are some extra batteries, and I've got it in one of these little cases, uh, and I've got the batteries I need for the flashlights I have. And then also right here, I just have some miscellaneous items, but some Q-tips, some Strike Anywhere matches, a pencil sharpener, and this is really great for different survival uses, and then a small little compass. And then here we have some compressed gauze. This is great for trauma and uh, you can really get the bleeding stopped if you pack this in. And then this just closes up on this little Velcro and it holds it right into place. Now because I have compressed gauze in here, I also have a cat tourniquet and it just slides right down in here. Uh, and this again is for serious trauma. Uh, and then we have a small little med kit and this is one of the Amp3 EDC med kits. It has all my band-aids and things like that, uh, antibiotic ointment, even some Advil, different things, just basic what I like to call the boo-boo kit, amp3.net, usner doc puts these together. These are excellent. Here I have a really good utility saw and this just comes open. And then I have one of the Olight and this is the MX1 striker. Has the bezel right here. This is a great self-defense tool. It's a brand new offering from Olight. I'm gonna be doing a review on this. And also in that compartment, I have a bottle opener and it is attached to some paracord and this is just an uh, HPR keychain. Okay, here we have a light my fire fire steel with striker here i have a folding knife and this is the barrage from benchmade super fast awesome knife one of my favorites more extra batteries and this actually is a sleeve that fits right in to the uh, m1x striker have some small little zip ties have some larger zip ties and you can see it goes through this elastic keeper here uh, have a couple of pins um, and just regular pins that i like to write with and a sharpie couple of dental floss picks, a small little Olight flashlight, and one of the little Swiss Army knives. I have a little set of nitro gloves, and then lighters, and of course, you know, my big rule of threes, uh, three seconds without hope, three hours in harsh conditions, so you really need fire, um, three days without water. I've got my Renovo Trio, excellent water filtration system three weeks without food. So you won't find any food in here, uh, even though I may keep a small little snack bar handy. Uh, and then I have another lighter, and this is one of the Toe Hill. It's a uh, little butane lighter, great little lighter, and just have it to supplement 
these extras. On fire, I go with redundancy. And then here I have one of the Griffin pocket tools, very useful, 11 different uses, and have some chapstick, Advil. Here I have a collection of safety pins, different sizes. Here I have a small signal mirror with some duct tape wrapped around it. Duct tape is very useful. And I have some toenail clippers. Now we've got to switch around to the other side. I have one of the Light My Fire Mora knives and always like to have some sort of a fixed blade knife uh, with me at all times. And then in here, which is really cool, is another fire steel. So just a little bit more redundancy with the fire. And here I have the Tender Torch. This is a fantastic fire system and there's a lot you can do with this. And I actually have another stick on the other side. I've got a full review on this. This is an excellent product. Also have a glow stick. Here I have one of the Thyrum capsules. This is great. You can place a lot of different items in here, keep them watertight, and uh, this is just a great little thing to have. Have a small battery backup from Bastion. And then for shelter, uh, this is an emergency space blanket, but it's one from SOL. This is a much heavier space blanket with the Blaze Orange and with the Mylar inside. And this is a little step above your standard little flimsy space blankets. I've already mentioned the Renovo Trio. This is a great water filtration system, uh, and I've got a full review on this if you want to check it out. But I always keep something that I can filter water. And I have one of the Gerber multi-tools. Uh, multi-tools, you know, I don't really need to speak that how important this is. A lot of different uses. And another one of the tender torches. And my favorite fire starter ever is the Vaseline with cotton balls. And I've got a couple of little packs of it just shoved down in here uh, to go with the lighter. Uh, once I get that started, I can split this with my Light My Fire Mora knife and I'm in good shape. Of course, there's a lot of other ideas that you can put in some of these little kits. There are different sizes. You can go all out. But what I really love is this rolls up, it packs away, it's comfortable because it is canvas. Uh, now that's going to probably retain some water, uh, so I probably want to treat this with some waterproof treatment. Uh, but I like this for every day. I mean, it feels good, it's easy to carry, it's soft. Uh, and so there are a lot of ideas though that I haven't listed in here So if you do have them just put them down in the comments below a lot of guys like to read those and give a lot of different ideas A lot of times it's just to suit what you do and it's really important to have the tools you need at your fingertips Especially survival tools and guys It's not really that hard or difficult to put together a survival kit The hardest part is just doing it if a survival role works for you. This is a great little option I feel and uh, something that I will implement into my survival system. And guys it just rolls right up really easy to put together. These are adjustable so you can snap it if you need to loosen it or if you need to tighten it down you can do that. Uh, this was $18.52 on eBay and that was with free shipping and it's just one that I happen to pick out. To be honest with you I like the color <laughs> and I like the canvas. But there are a lot of different options out there. You probably have some kind of tool roll laying around that you can use, and that's even better. And guys, there are a number of ways that you can build your survival kit. This is just a really compact way to do it. Very highly organized, lay it out, everything's right in front of you, you're not digging through your pack, it's just right there. I think this is a pretty cool idea and something that I'm definitely gonna be using for my survival kit. So the roll survival kit, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. And one of the tiny little Veranox, uh, little, uh, and one of the tiny Veranox uh, and one of the little Swiss Army knives. So today we're going to take a look at the survival tool roll. So today we're going to take a look at the survival roll. So today we're going to take a look at the survival kit. Let's see, what is this called? A Tootsie Roll? <laughs>